So here we have a palm reading for a, a lady and um, <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling with this one to uh, categorize this one in the Fred Getting system because the palm itself is rectangular just but it does have a very sort of overall squarish element. So we're close here to being both a rectangle and a square. I think I would say neither, really. Also, to determine whether or not the fingers are long or short, you compare the finger length against the length of the palm. If the if Saturn is seven eighths of the palm or longer, then we have long fingers. We only just have that here. So really, we have um, a unique combination of um, all the elements, in fact, which is very interesting because whilst there is a great deal of balance, there's a complex, um, a very complex person. There's balance, but there's contradiction the same time. This person is outgoing but also introverted. They're extroverted but introverted. They have um, a very sort of conservative sensible approach but also the side to them that is not afraid to take risks. There's a, a quiet sort of shyness about them but that also there's a great deal of um, courage uh, about them as well. So everything I'm saying here is contradiction, but that's because this this person is uh, a mixture of of everything and, and actually a, a walking contradiction. So the, what I find interesting are that when I when I first look at a palm, I try to think about what stands out to me, uh, and then I take those I make note of those things, take them into account and uh, cross the reference them with other things that might stand out to try and uh, accurately point towards a conclusion so that I'm not uh, coming to a conclusion based off one sign or symptom alone. What interests me is the way the palm sort of turns. Um, it, it takes, the palm itself is turning uh, inwards towards uh, the thumb that the, the palm shape itself is quite irregular also uh, we have this is interesting quite a spatulate tip of Apollo here it's quite a long tip of Apollo I mean it's not the longest uh, phalanx uh, of that finger but it's certainly an appreciation for natural beauty, for um, for artistic skill and artistic uh, uh, a kind of an, uh, an appreciation and a search for artistic endeavors and skills. Uh, I mean, it's not it's not spatula as such, but it is pronounced. It is well produced. It's well developed, so it's it's artistic skill here. Uh, also, the other thing that sort of stands out is, and this is actually quite rare, the tips of both Apollo and uh, Jupiter are almost level. They're almost completely level. Uh, Mercury, whoops, Mercury is short. Mercury is not reaching the first phalanx of Apollo, which is a bit of a shame. Mercury is low set. Jupiter is, Jupiter and Saturn are very level with each other. Apollo begins to drop off and then Mercury also uh, slopes downwards as well. Um, 
it's interesting because it's almost as if had this person had more um, of an opportunity to express and develop uh, creative and artistic endeavors, their ability to express and communicate through that would have grown and this finger would end up uh, being a little bit longer. It somehow feels as though um, their ability to express and communicate has been uh, thwarted somehow. I'm not entirely certain. I wouldn't say it's through lack of confidence, through any sort of bullying or, or, or over-criticism. I think this person has been brought up very well. Uh, as I say, there's a there's a sense of balance here. So Jupiter is the masculine qualities of a person. It's their ambition, their ego, it's decision making, authority, um, it's judgment, it's diplomacy. Uh, it's the ability to teach as well. And Jupiter is well produced here. Their decision making skills have grown. And it's sort of leaning a little bit towards Saturn as well. The The mount itself is not pronounced directly underneath uh, Jupiter. It's sort of in between uh, Jupiter and Saturn, which implies that the decision making their judgment, their ambition, uh, it, it, all, all, all things Jupiter are tied in with all things Saturn, which is work ethic, conscience, it's the sense of right and wrong, it's the person's ability to be an upstanding citizen, it's awareness, but it's also hard work and practical thinking. So it's interesting that the most prominent mount is Jupiter. Jupiter leans slightly towards Saturn. Saturn leans slightly towards uh, Apollo. Apollo is, as I've said, it's, uh, it's a creative, its ability to be creative. It's how we show ourselves to the world. Both these fingers are. Um, so the mounts as well as the fingers, this is these two together combined our self-development and these two are uh, how we show ourselves and reveal ourselves to the world how we express ourselves so with jupiter is fairly straight but there's a slight lean towards saturn saturn leans much more towards apollo and apollo is quite straight apollo and jupiter being as straight as they are uh, excellent because they're sort of polar opposites Apollo is feminine Jupiter is masculine and often Apollo shows us what we've inherited from our mother and Jupiter our father so when we have two fingers as level as this as straight and as well developed as this and also that come up halfway um, to uh, to meet uh, halfway I'm not describing myself very well here. To reach uh, halfway above the first uh, phalanx of Saturn. And this is not exactly science here, is it? Look at this little wobbly line. They, do, they just about reach halfway of the first phalanx of Saturn. There we go. I finally said it. Um... This is a good sign because it means that they are uh, they're, they're level-headed, they're well-balanced individual. They have a good sense of awareness about them, their abilities to carry out um, their hard work is justified and balanced by their uh, reputation and their ego their ability to create and provide as well as act on on, on the decisions made 
there's a great deal of balance within this person. They do have... It's a relatively long satin finger for this hand type. And as I've said, I can't really categorize this hand type, but I would say that this person just about leans on the earth side of things. But there is an also a sort of a waterish element as well. It's it's a really funny one because there's this where there's this sort of introverted, introspective um qualities, there's also the every now and then there's these little elements of um uh extroverted uh, flair as well it's it's a really curious thing i don't come across this type of palm very often where there's it's such a complex mixture of, of of everything combined but with the, a long satin this person is as i say an upstanding citizen a short satin would be someone that's a free bird that cares little for bureaucracy and um, it's not to say this person loves bureaucracy, but they have a good sense of right and wrong. A person with a, a satin finger that's too long is someone who is too aware and cares too much for the rules and becomes depressed quite easily because of um, this awareness of how others are lacking for this uh, regard. Uh, the, the same sense of morals and principles. So, I would advise this person um, takes more time to think about themselves, to provide, to give more to themselves, and that's because Saturn leans towards Apollo. Apollo is the environment. So this is a person, as I said, Saturn is work, hard work, is working towards uh, to meet the aims uh, and objectives of their environment. So their hard work is is being funneled, is it's sort of being siphoned off into their environment. They're not giving enough to themselves. A person who has two fingers that lean towards. Uh, the two middle fingers will lean heavily towards each other. There's a person who is uh, giving too much of themselves to them, their environment and to others close around them and not giving enough time to themselves. So this is the left hand. This is inherent. This is what this person has been uh, inherited and what they've been given. And if we compare the fingers on the right palm here, Notice how Saturn is ever so slightly shorter. The middle finger is ever so slightly shorter. This person has become more optimistic, has become um, a bit more of a free spirit, and also cares less for bureaucracy than they did. And also the little finger is longer now on the right palm than on the left. This is an excellent sign. This means this person's ability to communicate and express themselves has grown. And it's, it's fairly rare to see that, so that's remarkable. But notice how Apollo and Jupiter are still level with each other. Apollo is ever so slightly longer, uh, Jupiter, sorry, is ever so slightly longer than Apollo, the ring finger which is more common in women, but it's a good thing. It's self-assurance. The thumb here is well-developed. There, so we have willpower on the end, logic in the middle, or love and strife as, as Venus, from which the thumb protrudes, is the god of love and battles and it's our ability to push and pull and activate the world around us without the thumb the palm is it's uh, it's not a hand without the thumb 
But what I am noticing here is logic l appears to be just a little bit overdeveloped here. You can see it's bulging ever so slightly. And this is because this person is stressed at this time. Their life is full of strife. And looking at the left hand, it's the same here as well. Uh, so the left hand is how we feel. The right is uh, the physical um, and the practical results of of um, of those feelings, I suppose. So to to provide an example, the left palm uh, the left palm shows us how we feel about a, a situation. The right palm shows the material, um, the actual physical. Um, the tangible of of those uh, feelings in that scenario. So we talked enough about the hand shape of the fingers. Uh, now I'm getting a bit confused because, as I say, this palm is a confusing palm in the first place. The head and the lifeline. Generally speaking, you have, there's two different formations. You have a person who is joined uh, and they both drift away at a certain point where, this, where a person claims their independence. They grow up and leave the nest, so to speak. Or, and you see this with water hands very commonly, long palm, long fingers. The life and the headline are separated. And this shows someone who uh, is un an unconventional thinker, um, somewhat impulsive, and acts before they think. So a person who has a life and a headline combined for a long time is a person who is very cautious, very sensible, thinks things through before acting. Uh, especially with this sort of example, this is someone who's perhaps overcautious, anxious even. Uh, but what we have here, it, it appears, this is a very sort of curious formation because whilst we've got the, we've got a line that comes through here, this is the lifeline, and there's a an overlap where it appears the life and headline appear again and then appear to break off. So what we have is a complete change in personality, it seems. Uh, so at some point during their teens, they became a very different person. And I'm struggling to figure out who who came first. <laughs> So I'm going to look at the right palm to see if I can find out more clues because this is the left and what we've been given. So on the right palm here, you can see, you can clearly see now, the lifeline and the headline are uh, separate. So as I say, this is someone who is an unconventional thinker who um, kind of creates creates the rules rather than follows them. Or more of a person that does this it's not a great gap it's where the life energies the head so the decisions are disconnected from the uh, their environment their their decisions uh, that they make around their environment around their lifestyle is is not connected but it's not to a degree that it's unhealthy they're not extremely impulsive or impatient but there is an element of that. And this is who they've grown to become. And this is in line with how uh, much shorter their Saturn finger is now. This uh, disdain for rules has developed, it seems. And this is not how they always were. I think they initially were a very shy and reserved person, overcautious perhaps. Um, the headline, wonderful curve to the headline. It ends underneath Apollo, again signifying a person who 
is this ends in a wonderful place here because it signifies a person who's able to be creative but respond in their environment in a way that's healthy and rational at the same time they're not too much in their own thoughts they're not too um so imagine it to, to the point where they can't escape fantasizing but they have an ability to uh, draw on uh, inspiration and uh, imagination in a way that's uh, practical and useful again there's balance here now just looking at the career line on the left palm there isn't much to it, and that's because we're looking at an empty palm. Empty palms are typical of earth hands, and this is partly how I fall into this conclusion that they are overall just about an earth hand. An empty palm is someone who classically is the uh, the calm and uh, the strong and silent type, the calm and reserved person who knows how to act in the moment. Um, and on the surface they may appear to others as though they're perhaps unfeeling, uncaring, but actually underneath there is a, is a great well of feelings. It's, it's just not expressed or shown in a way uh, the same way as most others. They are not the sort of person to lose control of their feelings, but that doesn't mean they don't have them. And so with an empty palm, you quite often don't see too much around the career. Uh, the career line isn't, it's not re readily available to read. It is there, it's just faint. And that faintness shows uh, how this person is feeling about their career at this time. And this is because this is the left hand. The person is not feeling great about the career at this time. They don't feel it's... Um, rewarding them uh, in a way that it should either materially uh, materialistically or in um, any sort of uh, spiritual sense I suppose and during this time I'm gonna say uh, thirty three to forty nine there appears to be, it's not quite a square, but it could well develop. There's um, almost a need to protect. And that could, that could well be because uh, the career is... Um, not earning enough, perhaps, at this time. But towards, in late, let's say, uh, uh, mid-50s onwards, there is, uh, it appears, this person feels about their career that they will end up in a role where their decisions matter. They will... Um, gain a role where they're, they're in some level of um, local authority, they are making decisions on other people's behalf, they're teaching perhaps, it's a, a diplomatic role. Uh, it's, it's an in-between hard work and a role of authority, and that's because it's in between Jupiter and Saturn. And this is how this person feels. And sometimes with a person's career, we're looking at the right palm now, so we're trying to find out what is actually happening. Uh, when a career is faint, it's it's possible that the future is uncertain. Career lines are also uh, fate lines or destiny lines. And all three of the above are, are, are accurate, really. But it's interesting how the career line breaks away from the lifeline down here on the right palm and reaches up towards a place of hard work and, uh, and that sort of practicality and that sensibility. So
so it, it could be said that this person fell into their role through um, encouragement and advice from their parents. It just they just sort of seem to it's like they didn't make a, a conscious choice. They just kind of fell into the role through circumstance and environmental um, probabilities. There appears to be around the age of late 20s uh, an obstacle an obstacle in the career but before I get into that I want to have a look at this lifeline a little bit so mid 20s was a particularly difficult period for this person it seems as though there was a life event here that affected I don't know what age this is exactly because the lifeline appears to start later on the left there seems to be around the age of 25 a great period of difficulty in this person's life it's like an event occurs that creates some sort of um, hurdle in this person's life. And then at late 20s, there's this event which is close to home. And it appears to affect the life, the career, uh, mental health as well. And it appears to kind of also affect physical health or emotions. I don't know what this is exactly. It could be that this person has discovered, um, made some discovery at home at this time that's affected all areas of their life. It could be, a, it could be, a, it's an influence line from the family, from the family ring. But Venus is also the place of love and, and home uh, relationships. So it could be an issue within this person's relationship that affects their whole life. Or it could be... Uh, it could be that something happening with someone in the family that's affecting this person. And it might be that they have to uh, quit work for a little while, just put things on hold and sort out a problem at home. So what's interesting is that with career on this right palm, it's not reaching towards in between uh, Jupiter and Saturn anymore. It's, more of a place of hard work. The sun line is, is nice and deep here as well, but it's not until later on in life. And it also stretches from the heart line. It's sort of aided here. And that's often uh, indicates a person is supported by a loved one in the pursuits of their happiness and their success. Um, but it's also a sign of uh, pursuing some artistic or creative endeavours. And then in between both uh, career and success, we have another little success line that props up as well. And so it's this a great sense of work, satisfaction, whatever it is you're doing later on in life brings you a great sense of job satisfaction. And I think you find the role that's right for you at this time. So I would advise this person to look after themselves, generally just to look after themselves full stop in terms of give give more uh, to yourself initially when I looked at this palm I didn't quite see the straightness of Apollo here 
This is a person who has their ego in check and really ha is just a very level-headed person. The headline does uh, extend what it did on the left. It reaches further than Apollo and more under Mercury, and Mercury is stronger and longer on the right arm, which is good. However, the headline is reaching a little bit uh, lower than I'd like it to, signifying um, a possible sort of depressive tendencies at this time. And, uh, and, and the direction of this headline, I'm sure, will change. It shows this person isn't thinking about money so much. So the fact that the career is not paying off necessarily is nothing to do with uh, finances because the headline doesn't end in Upper Mars. So it shows this person is not working for financial reasons. They're working um, more for uh, this job satisfaction and to improve who they are, to develop who they are as a person. Which is not going to be easy because they're already a very well-developed person. I think this person needs to give more to themselves and to look after themselves, particularly uh, around the age of late 20s, early 30s. This age here. I see now this this fate line uh, stretching from underneath Venus coming through the lifeline and working its way is this person um, moving when they were young, moving home to a distant place. And you can see the lifeline as it reaches towards the middle of the palm. This person um, will not die in their native lands. They will live out the rest of their life um, far away from the place they were born. And just to finish off, what I mentioned earlier about the way the palm turns inwards like this, it's curious. The shape, the overall shape of this palm is almost sort of triangular. It's... So the shape of the palm turning in was like this shows how a person's uh, this is the physical and this is the uh, mental and you could even go one further and in the middle is social. So this person uh, has their thoughts um, and their feelings have moved, have gravitated more towards uh, Jupiter, this need to make decisions, to be authoritative, um, to utilize their ego and um, draw on things, all things Jupiter. They've had to literally adapt to uh, a side of themselves that they perhaps uh, weren't initially. That's one theory. But another is that actually this person has um, slightly higher Neanderthal DNA uh, than the average person. The average person has around 2%. High is 2.9 and above. Uh, and this is not a bad thing. It's actually very healthy. I'm, I'm not entirely certain on that theory. Because I don't see it so much with the little finger, but the shape of the palm I do. Um, and Neanderthals, you know, there's, there's this the whole kind of stigma um, that they're somehow lesser developed or not as intelligent. But it's just not the case at all. Um, it's 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 like saying that another you know, race of, of people aren't as intelligent or whatever. It's the same sort of thing. Neanderthals are immensely 
uh, intelligent. Um, and their uh, genetic line um, ended up uh, among the Huguenots of the Scandinavian peoples. Uh, and there was a, a bit of a, a genocide among them at some point. Anyway, I'm, I'm tangenting. So that that about concludes this reading. There's not too much more for me to say here. I mean, this person is very. Um, it's it's almost like it's it's difficult to read this person's palm because their everything is just so mixed, and so not that much stands out. It's an empty palm as well which makes things harder. The heart line shows this person is um, caring. Um, the space between the heart and the headline shows this person is open-minded. Um, I've talked about the space here. The overall qualities of this person they are multi-talented because they're just such a mixture of all the elements. No one mount is over uh, developed, with the exception of logic. Here is there's a little bit too much going on in this person's mind at this moment, and they need to actually just have a holiday. Um, Venus is strong again. This place of love and family. And it's hard to see the relationship line, but I'm wondering if it's curving downwards slightly. And if that is the case, this person's uh, relationship might be bringing them down. So when a relationship comes towards, uh, reaches towards the heart line, the relationship is literally dragging them down. Uh, that could be the case. But it's, I kind of don't want to say because I can't really see, it's not a very clear image. So yeah, that's that's everything I'm going to say. I've, I've, I've blabbered on for enough. I've not done a very good job here because this is such a difficult palm to read. Uh, but I hope this has all made sense. It's been a fascinating palm because it's just so different. The changes this person has made over time have been... Um, really quite something and it's a testament to their character uh, and their ability to grow this is an excellent thumb thumbs aren't spoken enough about of in palmistry and here you have a very good sign uh, one of uh, karma being good karma being rewarded with general good fortune it seems uh, so I hope that all makes sense. Thank you for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.